Hey, what is up guys? Pine Pelt Beer Reviews back here again with you today for another one. And the one that I have today is uh, Mississippi Beer, um, Lazy Magnolia's uh, Backwoods Belgian. Um, I believe that this is a 2015 because they did this last year too. Um, I think it might have been last year was the first time uh, that they brewed this. Uh, bottled on 217 2015. Yeah, so it is a uh, 2015 one. And uh, this is like, a, I believe, a seasonal, like a spring seasonal type of uh, beer. Um, it says Belgian, Be Backwoods Belgian is crisp golden ale brewed with honeysuckle, uh, displaying low bitterness, a light earthy aroma, and a refreshing taste with a touch of honey-like sweetness. Um, so yeah, it's kind of like a honeysuckle uh, Belgian um, golden ale with honeysuckle tea is what it says actually is the actual description on there yep so uh 8.5 percent abv brewed in kiln mississippi um gets an 81 on beer advocate gets uh 3.6 on untapped um i had this one last year and uh i remember it being pretty good um if i can get the damn cap to open uh i remember it being pretty good but uh yeah, it's been a, it's been a while, so it'll be kind of a new deal for me. So let's go ahead and get it poured out. See what we get with the aroma first off. Um, I know that uh, Lazy Magnolia just teamed up, I think, with a beer store maybe in uh, Starkville, Mississippi. And uh, so Startville is about to get a uh, brew. We have one. We have Crooked Letter in Ocean Springs, uh, Lazy Magnolia in Kiln, um, Southern Pro in Hattiesburg, which is in my area. Um, and then, uh, yeah, so we have this uh, uh, new brewery about to pot, or I think it might have already started in Startville. They have uh, like a uh, standby, I think. Uh, I'm gonna have to look. I'll, I'll have to get back with the uh, with the brewery, but uh, what they're called. But yeah, it's, it's really cool seeing that kind of thing pop up here in the deep south. Uh, a bunch of craft brews uh, breweries opening up. So uh, yeah. Anyway, with this uh, pour, we are getting a pretty much like a hazy sort of um, kind of you can see sort of like a uh, mandarin type orange color going on with it. It's not a whole lot of carbonation coming up with it and it's not going to produce like really big head or anything because of the uh, uh, high alcohol content but um, we are getting some bubbles there on the on the side of the glass but uh, yeah it just looks like a really nice kind of golden ale so uh, let's go ahead and go with the aroma on it. So yeah I'm getting like the honey and stuff like that, that they're talking about very sort of uh, very mellow smelling uh, golden ale. Um, so I guess that they just they brewed up some honeysuckle tea and then just maybe uh, brewed it up with the beer or something like that. But uh, I used to I used to uh, we used to have honeysuckles growing back uh, at my house, uh, my parents' house, um, uh, and I used to go out there and kind of. You know, get the nectar in them here and there. Uh, so yeah, I'm kind of getting uh, a bit of that. It's like very flowery type of uh, sort of almost bitter type of uh, sweetness, but it's 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 like a very uh, vegetable type of of sweetness, if that makes sense. Plant, well, not plant, uh, not vegetable. I mean, uh, just a very plant, leafy type of sweetness. So yeah, it smells, it smells really good. Um, let's go ahead and go for the flavor on it. Very uh, kind of pleasant uh, profile with it. Um, you're getting like a lot of the you're getting a lot of breadiness, a lot of yeastiness, but then um, you're also getting up front that sort of um, honeysuckle flavor just a very 
um, <clears throat> very flowery, like I said, very plant-like sweetness with it. Um, uh, I mean, I guess you'd have to have, you know, tasted nectar from like honeysuckle uh, flowers, but it's that's definitely what I'm getting. Uh, other than that, it's it's just got it's just got a it's got a good bit of maltiness to it. Not very crisp or anything necessarily, um, and uh, you don't really taste the alcohol too much on it either. It's the alcohol is very well hidden in it, uh, so it, it's just it's just a very um, got a very good balance between the maltiness and then there's a brightness there that that's added from that uh, from the honeysuckle flavor. I know a lot of people uh, that I was looking at some of the reviews were saying that they weren't getting, excuse me, they weren't getting the uh, honeys, they weren't getting any of the honeysuckle flavor or anything like that from it, but uh, uh, I'm definitely picking it up for sure. Other than that, it's got a uh, pretty uh, pretty mellow mouthfeel. There's not a whole lot of carbonation felt in it at all, uh, as far as I can tell. Just a little bit on the back, but like I said, it's, you don't really get a whole lot of that alcohol content in there either. Um, you just kind of have this um, kind of a dry finish for sure, but it's uh, it, it's just a very nice nice sipper of a uh, Belgian style uh, southern uh, southern United States deep south take on a on a Belgian uh, golden ale uh, with honeysuckle in there and stuff, but. Uh, but yeah, very very good. Um, uh, actually, it's 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 uh, it's an excellent uh, Belgian style ale, in my opinion. I'm gonna go ahead and give it a uh, give it an A. I think it's uh, it's it's up there um, with some of Lazy Magnolia's other uh, uh, beers and ales that they do. So definitely recommend checking it out if you see it as a single um, in your area. Uh, I don't know what Lazy Magnolia's uh, distribution methods or, or extremities are right now like how far they're going with the distribution but uh i, I definitely rec <coughs> recommend checking it out if you're in the area see what you think um i know that lazy magnolia also has a new um belgian i think it's i, I believe it's a belgian style uh big beer big uh uh keeper beer as uh they would call it pretty much a beer that, uh, as a cellar beer it's uh their lazy magnolia 10 and it comes in a big 750 milliliter bottle. Uh, gonna try to pick that up uh, some point soon uh, before those are are, are gone. Um, uh, it's it's just like a dark Belgian style ale with like apparently like 10 different ingredients. Uh, when I asked uh, a waitress at a at a uh, pub here recently about it, and uh, so I'm gonna try to get that one and see what see what we can uh, figure out with that. But uh, yeah, a on this one on the backwoods. Backwoods uh, Belgian by Lazy Magnolia. Definitely recommend picking it up. See what you think. And uh, till next time, guys. Thank you for watching.